Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this video I'm going to talk about how you can create a multi-language application with Angular. I'm going to talk about it because lately I needed to do that for an application um, and I thought well it's nice to just share that knowledge with you guys. So Angular has its own i18n package and I know that, but for my use case, it was better to use NGX Translate. Much easier to just switch over and to use that part of the, of the solution with NGX Translate. It has JSON files, which are very easy to read for a developer. It has also a nice tool, a nice editor, a Babel edit that you can use. And when you are in an enterprise environment, I really can recommend you that because yeah, it's very easy to give these files to somebody that is non-technical. He can load in these files, he can work with it, he can just adjust them. And I think this is really the, the tool you need. I also need to say that this tool is not for free, so you still need to pay a little bit, but that amount of money that you need to pay to use that tool is very little um, for the amount of work that and, and, and the capability that this application can do for you. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to start from an empty uh, Angular application. But of course, you can just very easily add it to your own application like this. What we do is we do a yarn at ng translate core and an ngx translate HTTP loader. So we add that to our application. And of course, when we have done that, we can start using it within app.module.ts. So then when that is installed, you can go to app.module.ts. Here you're going to do trans, translate module for root. And then of course we're going to import it like this. And then, of course, we need to set a loader because uh, the translator, the translate files are going to be loaded. So we need to put here a loader and that loader will have multiple parameters. So let's grab this. All right. And then of course I'm going to add this here. I'm going to also declare or use uh, the dependency of the HTTP client because like I said, we have JSON files, we need to load them in and that's why we need to have the HTTP client. So, and that's what I'm now going to tell you is also very important. Uh, we also need to add here our HTTP client module. And our dependency on HTTP client, of course. And it also needs to have an HTTP loader factory. It's a function that we are going to create. So now here we just need to add the uh, translate HTTP loader. And then of course we need to import it. And how are we going to do that? Well, we are going to do that by just importing it on top here. And then of course here we are going to do that.
So next thing that we need to do is to put in app components something like this. We need to put a constructor and there we need to do translate.set default language to English. And then with translate uh, service, we need to import that service uh, so we can set the default language to English. Now, next thing that we need to do is we need to put in our um, asset folder. We need to put something like a new folder with name E18N. And here we need to put file, new file, and what JSON. And I could, for example, also put something like a new file, and now it's JSON, for example. All right. Of course, we just put. an empty JSON um, format in here. And then uh, we go to our template. And in our template, we can use here, uh, for example, foreign thing. We can put string here with uh, welcome first paragraph so for example now we can do something here we can very easily also say um, welcome um, or title and then here we can do something like this And say that title is of type title, right? So here we can just uh, give a parameter towards our translation file. So we can very easily do something like this in our translation. Of course, this is very cumbersome. You uh, need to provide for every translation uh, a new label with the um, the pipe of translate, of course, and uh, this can be very um, uh, labor intensive. So it's nice that somebody of the community created an extraction tool. So this needs to be changed. All right. So to uh, extract our uh, labels, we need to install ng translate extract from Bishberg. Bjork. Yeah, well, I don't know quite well how to uh, pronounce that, but that's okay, I guess. So uh, when this gets installed, um, we're going to show you how to add uh, something to your package.json file in the uh, run script. So when we go to package.json and then we go to our section of uh, scripts, we're going to add something. All right. So here we say that everything that's been put into source as its E18N needs to be scanned and it needs to be uh, adapted to what is in your template files, like for example, within app.component.html. But whatever is underneath source, right? He's going to scan that and he's going to see if it has something with uh, pipe translate. So, and now we can do yarn run extract translations, right? And then he will execute that and you will see that we have two files, Ian and Jason, that he has used. So, when we go to these two files, um, you see that we have our two labels. First, this is the so this is the first paragraph. 
and then here my language this is the eerste paragraaf and then of course here I can say welcome to and then title And I think, well, that's correct. So we can very easily use this one. And then, of course, I need to do the same in my own language. Welcome up. And here, title. So now I want to put two buttons there. So underneath my this was not the first paragraph, <laughs> apparently it was uh, the uh, just the title, but okay, it doesn't matter. I'm going to I'm going to change it to a paragraph. Alright. And then I can add another paragraph to change the language and I add two buttons, one for English and one for my own language in Dutch. Alright. And then we need to uh, add a function here. So here I can do use language. And of course, here we need to do translate, translate dots add links where we just say what our languages are. And these are Yen and NL. So, great. So with ng-surf we can start up our application. Let's see how this looks like. So this is our application and we translated welcome to multi-language and we have this is the first paragraph. So when I turn this, this to uh, Dutch, we get welcome up multi-language and this is the first paragraph. When we go back to English, we get again English. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can uh, you learned something from it. Definitely check that out, NGX Translate. It's a great tool to translate your application, your Angular application, uh, and make it multi-language. So uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye.